Every day, about 45,000 planes take off and stay up there in the air by magic, it would seem. Do you know how they stay up there? I sure don't, but it turns out scientists, they're not sure either. Tony, you've been talking about this for freaking months. Since Every I was day, this high. He's like, do you know that we don't know how planes fly? I've been talking about this literally since my head was b low enough to not hit it on the table right here. <laughs> I've been, since I was a child, this is wondrous and amazing, but carry on. Okay, well, I can't hear this anymore. So we brought in Samantha Calandrelli, who is an expert in all things aerospace. Emily, I'm so sorry. That's I don't okay. know where Samantha came yeah. from. Um, but you are here to clear things up for Tony, or maybe not clear things up. Yes, well, I will say, flight is beautifully complex, and there is no one single theory that okay. can explain it perfectly all at once. But there are two that give you most of the idea, but there's still a mystery about one of them. So the first part of the, the explainers, we have two. The first one is Bernoulli's principle. Mm -hmm. And Bernoulli's principle is something that tells you about what what happens when air moves fast, okay? Because when you have a wing, because of the airfoil and the way it's moving through the air, you have fast-moving air that goes over the wing. Wait, what is airfoil? An airfoil is the shape you know of a so wing. I know that when I'm five and I put my hand out the window of the car, it goes like this. Yes, yes. exactly, exactly. So when you have a wing, you have fast-moving air over the top and slow-moving air on the bottom. Well, what does that do to the wing? So we can do a science experiment here. This is my balloon smooch experiment from my science experiment experiment books, and viewers at home can make a hypothesis. What do you think will happen when I put fast-moving air between the center of these balloons? You would think so it me, blows apart. Yeah, let's see, because I'm adding air to the center, yeah. right? That is wild. Oh. So, so they, want to, they want to come together. They want to come together. So when you have fast-moving air, because of Bernoulli's principle, you create That's an area crazy. of low pressure. So it's kind of like a vacuum in the center here. And so the powerful atmospheric air pushes the balloons to the center. So similarly, on an airplane, when you have fast-moving air over a wing, it creates a low pressure over the wing. You have high pressure under the wing. Boom, that creates a little bit of lift. But that's not the full story. So the other part, the second part of our explainer, is you have Newton, Newton's third law, which states, for every action, there's an equal and opposite. Reaction. Reaction, exactly. So when you have. I paid attention <laughs> in school. <laughs> exactly. So we Thank can you. do another science experiment here. I highly recommend um, some oh, eye protection goggles here. So we have our Alka-Seltzer rocket. And yep. in an Alka-Seltzer tablet, there's an acid and a base. When you add water, that makes bubbles. We're going to put it in here, and we're just going to go ahead and place it right there. So now those bubbles are building and building and building, and the pressure is building and building and building. So on an airplane, when it flies through the air, you have air that bounces off the wing, goes down, bounces off the wing, goes down. Well, for every action, there's an oh, equal geez. and opposite reaction. So when the air goes down, the rocket goes up. Similarly, when the air bounces down, the plane goes up. Well, so those are the two main theories. Al allow me to do my best Scott Pelley with these safety goggles. <laughs> yes. uh, what you're telling me is <laughs> mm -hmm. that we know that planes fly. Yes, we, we do know that. We know that they stay up there. <laughs> yes. But we don't actually understand the underlying science. So it's almost like a parlor trick. We know it can happen. Mm. But the mystery remains. But, so and you just you just and laid I find out that to be yeah. incredible. <sighs> so the mystery, the mystery is with the second part. Because we know how planes fly. There are beautiful mathematical equations that predict precisely how a plane will fly. So this is not a cause for concern for anybody who loves flying in airplanes. The mystery lies with Bernoulli. We know that air moves fast over the wing, but why does it move faster? Let me put it this way: That's it's not a cause for concern. No one should be worried, but it is a cause for wonder. It's you a cause should Feel wonder. like a kid again, and, yes. and and be amazed at this amazing world that we all get to share together. This is the gift we give to it the next incredible. generation. So, do scientists Mission. actually debate this at parties? Like when you go to your science parties, <laughs> do you go to science parties? Can I come? You can come, and you can debate the science <laughs> of flight with me, because there are debating theories on why it moves faster, and not everybody agrees. So we have ideas, but there are still some very nerdy parlors where people are debating. Uh, oh. And I'm I'm there for that. Uh, Emily Calandrelli, author of Stay Curious and Keep Exploring. Yes. Thank you for helping us stay curious. Thank you so much.